Hey everybody, this is Rich Noto, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector in Notary Public. So behind me I have this home called the, I think it's the Robbie, or well, maybe it's pronounced the Roby. Anyway, this home is a Deer Horton Express home. I am over at Charles Cove. So let's go inside and have a look. Now before we go in, as I always do say in every video, please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact any home builder, you may void your paid for by the builder, which makes it free to you, realtor representation. There's no additional fees. It does not cost you anything extra. And it's basically a use it or lose it. It does not affect the price, but it may potentially affect it in a good way with my assistance. So let's go in and have a look. Okay, so when you first walk in, you got your stairs off to the left. You got this nice little hallway. Okay, so over here you have your closet underneath the stairs. You got a nice large living room and dining room and kitchen area all in one. And that is an office. And here we have a bedroom on the first floor because there's a full bath right behind it, which I'm going to get to. And this is really nice because you got a full shower over there. Now the great thing about having the full bathroom on the first floor is, you know, in the event that you need it, potentially surgery, injury, or you just can't go up and down stairs well. And also in the future, if you love your home and you want to age with it, the first floor might be pretty much all that's needed. This definitely is a large first floor. Okay, so I'm basically down about three steps here. Show you it like this. Fantastic master, look at this. The closet to the right, the pan off to the right. Fantastic, look at this closet. Showing the floor first so you could get an idea of the pattern. So you literally have to have to walk this closet. Wow. 
What I mean is you walk into the left and then you go straight. I'll show you where I'm standing. You can see my feet. What a nice lodge, master. Fantastic. And there's a the toilet. Ah, so this is a very, very deep closet. So essentially you kind of have like two closets really. So, you know, you have this really large one and then the other closet in the bathroom, which is probably more so considered a towel closet, but it's, it's really like an extra large one. So. Plenty of space. I can't believe how great that master is. So there's a few ways to go. I'm going to go left because there's three bedrooms here at the end. And I'm gonna go straight across into this bedroom just because. Let's see what the closet looks like. What a nice two story home, really nice. I like it. Now they do have this floor plan in some other D.R. Horton Express Homes Communities. Now I'm gonna go across again <laughs> into that other bedroom. Another good size closet. Very nice. And here's the bathroom that's shared for the three bedrooms at the end over here. Good space. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to walk out of the house with me in the viewer just so you could see it from another point of view. And I'm also gonna give you a few isometric views that are up high just to kind of see the room from a bit of a different angle. Nice house, I, I really do like this house. I like the setup because you know, if you, if you have a family, if you have, you know, a whole bunch of kids that need three bedrooms and you want to put them on one side of the house, this is great. Really nice. And then they have their bathroom at the end as well, which is right across the way. Now let's go see, where was that? Ah, here it is, the master bedroom. 
this is the one with this nice closet. Let's see if I can show you this from a different angle, if it, if it shows it better. It's probably the best angle that we'll get of it. And you can see how much room you have in here. I mean, just really, really, really nice closet. And let's get another angle of the master bedroom. As you can see the size of it, it's huge. This would make a very nice home theater room. <laughs> if, if you wanted to set it up that way in addition to the bedroom or just as a home theater room and sleep in one of the other rooms down the hall. Um, because this loft over here, as you can see, it's nice. But you can see there's not a whole lot of room for like a couch or anything like that. And because this door is the air conditioning, you, know, you have to be able to open and close it. So if you did put some kind of a couch over here, I would think you would want it to have wheels or something to make it easy for all those times that you have to come in here and open it up, you know, to get to the unit. See the entryway a little bit better. Really nice living room. And this could be set up nicely for home theater as well. You should basically have use of, of three walls over here. So they do have the TV currently on this wall, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that would be the best setup or the best place for the TV. And let's get one isometric of this bedroom on the first floor, which of course you could you know, turn it into anything that you want, but at least it's here. It's got the closet and it's got the bathroom right outside. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. My website's wintergardennew.com. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, this is Rich Noto, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector and Florida Notary Public with Loan Signing Agent Certification. So right now I am turning into Charles Cove and this is a the Horton community. Got a nice entry sign over there. Now over here is the pool on the right, so I'm just going to drive it. And it's got like a water mushroom going. And you got a soccer field and a place to picnic. A nice play area for the kids. I'm going to turn so you can see it in here. Yeah, that's a really nice playground.
Now over here they do have two different lines of homes. They have Express and uh, Dear Horton Homes. Which does make for a pretty good selection for this area. And of course price. Express homes are usually cheaper. These are DR Horton over here. You can see that from the sign, all these solds. And on the left there's an express home. So they're just mixed up. Over here's a whole bunch of express homes that have sold signs in front of them. Now, if you have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. Check out my website at wintergardennew.com. And as I always do say, please contact me first before you contact any home builder when you email them, text them, call them, anything that they can connect that you or you, when you purchase your home, you can void and lose your paid for by the builder free realtor representation. And it does not cost you anything additional to have my service. There's a lot of things that are going to happen along the way. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. I'm no pressure sales. And I do work for you and represent you as a home buyer. I do not work for any home builders or represent them. They always work for the builder. And what I mean by they is the salespeople, the sales teams that work at the builders. Now, when you contact me first before heading over to the builder, you won't void your free representation. Okay, now the home builders everywhere do pay for it, but many of them have certain rules and regulations where your realtor needs to be the one to enter the office with you, or even sometimes if you email or call builders, that can void your free realtor representation. Now, one of the great things about calling me first as well is that I like to work with the sales associates that are the best at the builders, the ones that have really good knowledge of the place and also are very low pressure, nice to work with. That's super important. The other thing in the process is, you know, your money. You always want to keep your money safe. Many times home buyers call me after the fact. They contact me when it's too late. They're in a, they're in a contract and they have problems and now they're trying to get help from me. And many times they've seen my videos, which they openly tell me, <laughs> you know, they've seen my videos and, and then they end up telling me, you know what, you are 100% correct. I wish I contacted you. Now I'm in this situation. So contact me first. Let's have a nice process of finding you a home, a safe process where, you know, your money, everything that you do with your money, when you put it down, everything's done correctly. And then after you're in contract, let's make sure that your home is also assembled correctly. A home that isn't assembled correctly and is built poorly, that's not something that you want. So for me, for my home buyers, those are my concerns. I want you to have a nice experience in the beginning. I want you to have the best sales associates where possible. I want you to have a nice process going into the contract. Everything is done safe. And then after that is the home building process. So there's going to be several things along the way that I'm going to do to help you in that. So, you know, don't miss out on it. 
for you, you don't pay for the service. You're not gonna miss out on any incentives or lose them because you use my service at a builder. The only thing that you will do is you'll miss out on everything that I offer you in the process because home builders do not reduce the price of a home because you pass on using a realtor. It just doesn't work that way. And many times you end up with the best deals because I'm there with you and I'm able to ask the right questions, okay? Asking the right questions and knowing what to say and how the deals work is super important. So don't be shy, give me a call, email or text. Thank you.